Hello, have you been wondering where and how to buy RMB at the cheapest rate into your Alipay account? If yes to this, then stay tuned as I walk you practically how to get RMB at the cheapest rate into your Alipay account. I need to take my smartphone just as you can see and what I need to do right from here is to go open my Alipay account. So this is my Alipay currently just as you can see. So what I need to do is to click on account so you can see um, my account. So let me go check my balance. So currently, this is my Alipay account balance as of now. So we are going to get RMB into um, my Alipay account. So you practically will see everything, how I'm going to demonstrate this for you. And I also expect you to follow the same process in order to buy RMB into your Alipay at a cheapest rate. So let me go back. So having gotten to this stage, what you need to do first is to click at this very part. So from this interface, I click on my name card so that I will get my Alipay QR code. So this is my Alipay um, QR code. So what I need to do from this very interface is to click Save to Album. And I click Save. So you can see everything all for yourself. So this means that my Alipay QR code for accepting payment into my Alipay account has been saved directly into my um, phone gallery. What I need to do from here is to open my um, Google Chrome browser. You can do this on your um, laptop or on your smartphone. The process is still the same. So then when you get to this very interface, you just hover to this very website. I'll leave the link in the description of this very video so you get to this website if you are having an account on this website glory be to god if you are not having an account on this website what you need to do is to click on login or register scroll down then if it is your first time visiting this website then you need to create an account on this very website so you key in your email your password you can choose to leave the referral code and you click on register However, if you are already having an account on this um, platform, then there's no need for you creating another account. So what you need to do is to key in your login details. So in my case, for instance, I've keyed in my login details, then I click on um, login. So it has logged me in successfully. I would like to show you that this is a credible and a reliable website. Simply because myself, I use this uh, very medium to, to get RMB into my Alipay account. So let's go check previous transactions that I have done on this very website. So you can see on the 23rd of um, March 2024, I've made um, a transaction of 1,100 Ghana cities. And on the 22nd, I've made, you can see all the transactions for yourself. Then I made another 3,700 Ghana cities. So you can see everything for yourself. And on the 21st of March, 2024, I've made a transaction of 5,400 Ghana cities. So you can see everything for yourself. And all these um, transactions were credited into my Alipay account. So you have seen that I am sharing an evidence to whatever I am demonstrating to you or I am sharing with you. So having gotten to this very stage, what you need to do from here is to... Um, click on buy RMB. I click there. It opens another interface. Now, when you get to this very interface, they indicate their current rate. Their current rate varies. It changes time to time. So the current rate you are seeing today might not be the rate. Um, it, it could depreciate or it could appreciate. So when you get to this very type, uh, interface where you see account type, we have supplier and personal. Let me explain this here clearly. You see, when you are paying a supplier and the supplier has sent you his or her QR code, be it Alipay QR code or um, WeChat QR code, then you need to select supplier. However, if you are buying the I, uh, you are buying the RMB, you want to have the RMB in your verified Alipay account, then you need to select personal. Yes, yes, I have um, selected. Now, when you get to choose to enter UN or CDs. Currently, it is set to CDs. So if 
uh, I click on it just as you have seen, then it is set to RMB. So which means now that it is activated on RMB, I have to enter the RMB equivalent at the rectangular box that you see. Now we study that if you want to key in into CDs, then you have to let it be at CDs just as you can see um, nicely. So it means I'm going to buy RMB. So I have to enter the CDs amount here. Then the system will give me the equivalence in RMB. So let's see. I'm buying RMB 8,660 Ghana CDs. So I click on um, go. So let me go to the top. So you see, you can see everything clearly. So having entered an amount of 8,660 Ghana CDs, I'm going to get RMB of 4,503.20 RMB. So you can see everything for yourself. Now, the next thing I need to do from this very interface, from this very interface is to click uh, the section where it says, click here to upload. So click here to upload basically means if you are buying the RMB into your Alipay account, the QR code we have saved, as I've demonstrated to you a while ago, I have to click here. Then from here, I come and click on Browse. When you get to this very stage, ensure that the QR code you are selecting, it is your Alipay QR code. Sometimes some of you may be having um, different types of um, QR code on your phone. So just make sure you are, you are uploading the accurate QR code onto the platform. Either than that, the system will pay into whatever uh, QR code you have sent in there. Mind you, in ICT or in computing, there is something called garbage in, garbage out. So this is my QR code. I upload it. So you can see it uploading successfully. So it has been uploaded successfully. Notwithstanding that, if for instance, you have made a mistake by uploading a wrong um, QR code onto the platform, you can delete it and re-upload. So after getting here, you see full name on Alipay account. The full name on Alipay account basically mean uh, it could be that you have used a friend's um, passport to verify your Alipay account. So what it basically means is the passport, the name on the passport that you have used to um, verify your Alipay account has to, has to be key in at where you have the full name on Alipay account. So in this case, I have key in the name that is on the passport I've used in verifying um, the account. Then you see Alipay number or email. The email address that you have used to link or bind your Alipay. So you have to key in that one as well. So I click here, then I key in. Then the next thing you need to do is, please note, Orders after 4 o'clock p.m. will be paid the next day, 6 a.m. So if you are in Ghana and you are using this platform to get RMB into your Alipay account and you are processing this after 4 p.m., it means your account will be credited the following day. So it is clear. So you need to check this part. So after checking all these things, I need to scroll down. After scrolling down, you see the down part which says continue. So I click on continue. The system is um, processing. When you get to this very part, they have upgraded their system. So what you need to do from here, so you can see the name, WhatsApp number, I've key in everything already. So my email then, Momo number paying from. This basically means the Momo number paying from. Um, you are going to send the CD equivalent to them their account then they get your alipay account credited for you so what you need to do from here is on which mobile number that you are having the cds on or you are having the money on so that one too i have input um the number that i have the money on you can change the numbers as as and when you want there is no big deal about that just ensure that whatever phone that you are having the cds on the money on you key in that number there so I have keyed in mind there and it is on my Cocoya. So you can see, I've scrolled down so you can see everything here, the amount I'm going to make, uh, the, the amount I'm supposed to pay. So I come here, then click on place order. So it takes me to the next interface. Having got into this interface, I take my phone. This phone, I can do screen recording or I can um, share the screen with you. So 
what i need to do from here is to take the phone that has the amount of money or i, have, I want to transfer the money from then send the amount the cds to the number that is being presented to me mind you sometimes they can change the number on this very uh, platform so just take notice of the number that is on the platform so i take my phone then i follow the process and transfer the money so guys i am doing this practically so that we all follow and we are good to go so i've got into the amount side the amount i've got into the amount so i need to enter as the exact amount that i have keyed in onto the system then that is eight thousand six hundred and sixty ghana cities so i i proceed so i've got into the phone where, where it says enter reference so at the reference what you need to do most of you have been doing mistakes so at the reference when you are about to send the money it says what order number so you need to use the order number on the platform what you are seeing now as the reference mind you this um, order number will differ from what you will be presented with so i entered the order number that i've been given here as the reference number here so you need to double cross check to ensure that you are you have key in the accurate thing as the reference number i click on proceed so i need to confirm the name the name that is on the top with the number i need to confirm if it is the same thing then i can now approve so i have sent i wish i could um, share this screen with you so i have now approved the money so the money the transaction has been sent so you can hear that i've gotten a message from um, mtn that i have sent 8660 ghana cities to um the name and number that i have um i've been sent to or have been presented with now having gotten to this uh stage what i uh, advise people to do is to take a screenshot of this um stage this very part why because sometimes when there is a little delay or any system challenge just as in recent times we have a network challenge in ghana or in africa um you can contact this uh, platform via whatsapp with the evidence at a time and they are going to rectify whatever anomaly you have um you may be having so so that you don't forget the um order number notwithstanding that too the money that you have sent to their number that they are giving to you on the platform um you need to screenshot this part as well you need to screenshot it and as well the uh, the test message that you have received from mtn for the transaction that you have done ensure you keep that message for the transaction id in case of any um anomaly so it, those those things serve as your evidence to um to retrieving or communicating to these uh, very people they are very very reliable so after doing all these things um for them to credit my alipay account is going to take a little while so i need to wait about 15 minutes to 30 minutes time my account will be credited so i need to wait and let's go check it out yeah guys having waited for a little while i have received a message from alipay in my notification so you can see this message clearly that you have received a transfer and you can see the alipay um symbol there two minutes ago so now what i need to do from here is to go open my alipay account and go and check the message or the notification that i have received so this is my alipay interface so let me click on message so you can see transfer so i have um that's the very top one so what i need to do from here is to click on it to open so you can see that i have received four thousand 503.20 rmb mind you you remember that when we place the order the equivalent of the amount that i have keyed in which is 8660 ghana cities as of the current rate they've given me my account has been credited with the exact amount that you have seen on the very interface which is 4503.2 rmb you have seen everything carefully so let me go check my account balance and we see the way forward so you can see the amount that i have received i'm showing you this to just let you know that this is a, 
a reliable and a trustworthy platform that you can use it to get RMB into your verified Alipay account. Notwithstanding, if you are having a verified WeChat account too, you can buy um, RMB into it. So, guys, you can see the details, everything clearly, everything clearly. There is no corner corner somewhere. So, let me go check my account balance. If I click on account, I click on balance. So, you can see everything all for yourself. So, previously, I was having, I showed you my uh, previous balance, and currently, you can see that my account has been increased or has been credited to uh, an amount of 7,000, 7,060 plus RMB. So let me click on transaction, then we go to all, then we're going to see. So we have all expenditure and income. So um, my previous balance was 2,255.33 RMB, which I've showed it to you earlier. So you can see everything all for yourself. There is no corner corner anywhere. This is a reliable platform that you can use to uh, get RMB or buy RMB into your Alipay account. If you happen to be in Ghana, notwithstanding, if you are watching me from Nigeria and you want to get RMB into your Alipay account, check in the description of, of this very um tutorial, and I'll leave you with I'll leave you with a link to how you can buy RMB at the cheapest rate as a Nigerian into your Alipay account. So guys, if you are watching me and you, you think uh, there is value in my tutorials, let me know, give me a thumbs up. If you are a new um, person on this very platform, do in as much as possible to follow me on all my social media handle, subscribe. Let me know your comments, share your comments, share your thoughts, because it is your comment that gives, that motivates me, that gives me the morale to keep doing what I am doing. Your likes, your comment will also bring other people on board, which at the end of the day, it will intend to go help someone who may be having a challenge. If you are here and you are not following me on my WhatsApp channel, then you are missing out a lot. I must be honest with you because on my WhatsApp channel, I'm sharing a whole lot of tutorials on my WhatsApp uh, channels. That sometimes I do even conduct pools on my whatsapp channel just as you can see so on my whatsapp channel there are a lot of things that as far as e-commerce is concerned i share a lot of tutorials there that i don't even post them on either my youtube platform my facebook instagram or even on my tiktok platform at morning small gh if you find value in this very tutorial i'll play with you as i said earlier to give me a thumbs up share your comments share this video so that it will help someone out there Check in the description for more links to my WhatsApp channel, more links to my other social media handle. See you in my next episode.